you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very exciting review and unboxing of the brand new Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bit palette. As you can probably tell by my eye, we have already done one eye. I'm going to show you the palette first and then get into the tutorial, but so far... I am really impressed, let's just get straight into it. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these in the future and so I also know to do more new tutorials, palette tutorials too. A lot of tutorials in that sentence. Um, don't forget to enter my huge giveaway linked down below. Let's just get straight into it. So it retails for £25 on Beauty Bay. This is the box that it came in. So the first round of orders, I think it's sold out at the moment, but I do believe it's coming back in stock, if I remember rightly, from her video. Um, but the first set of orders, everybody got a free pop socket. So this is the one that I kindly got. Um, I'm really excited to put this on. I'm so happy that I got the light coloured one, um, although I do think both were, were really nice regardless. So this is what the palette looks like. I mean, you can see... On the packaging it's really really sparkly um, and kind of iridescent with it and on the back it says hello guys it's me Nikki hello <laughs> I am beyond excited for you to finally see this my palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay I'm so grateful for this opportunity and this time we're doing it right because let's be serious we all know about the Too Faced scandal where she got completely ripped off and they didn't give her enough money for how much money they actually made off her palette and then there was a whole fiasco with the palette anyway so it says this palette truly showcases my life and personality you guys know i'm all about bright and unique makeup looks but this palette also shows a different darker side of me i can't wait to see the looks you'll create from dark and mysterious to bold and uniquely you this palette is my safe place my temple and this wouldn't have happened without the support of my glow babies I love you. So like I said, it retails for £25 and then inside it, it is like double bull wrap, which is amazing because no one likes to have a smash palette arrive to the door. When you open it, it has a little card inside as well. Um, this has basically got the different shades on it and saying how is best to apply, whether to use a brush or your finger or whether both work really well. So that's just a little way of you knowing which one to apply with which method so I'll keep that to one side just for now but I've not really had to look at that whilst I did this blue eye makeup look I've also done a, um, like yesterday I tried to film this but my lighting wasn't the best because I've just got new lighting and I did like a brownie look yesterday with one of the glitters oh my god it was amazing and I'm loving this blue one so far as well so this is what the palette looks like so it obviously has the dark side and the more vibrant like kind of bright side and then when you open it up it looks like this so you can see there's a couple of colors that i've like tapped into and then it has two different mirrors so one side is a normal mirror and the other side is a more magnifying mirror which to be fair i can't see actually it's actually quite easy to hold it's not very heavy so you could use this for your eyeshadow and then be able to just kind of dip in and apply, which is really good. Um, I've never really seen anything like that before. There is a slight little gap in the middle here, but I can't really see that being a problem, to be honest. I do wish it had like more dark colours. I mean, I know these are kind of a little bit darker, but more like really dark vampy on one side and really, really bright on the other side. But I do think the selection of colours that she's picked, there's a lot of different looks that you could do with it. So I'm going to prime my lid because as Nikki Toyles would say, it's a it's a crime not to prime. So let's Optimus Prime this bad boy. So obviously just using my um, P. Louise base, which is what she would typically use. I watched her video because I was so, I, I love Nikki Toyles anyway. But I was so excited to see kind of like what this palette looked like and whether I wanted to pick it up and stuff. Um, and from watching her video, it made me really, really want to pick it up. And I know she mentioned to have like a sticky base for the eyeshadows and that um, sometimes they don't, like she said, like they don't swatch really well, some of them. Um, but they apply really well on the skin and that's what matters. And to be fair, when she does her videos anyway, she never really, um, she's never really wanted to like, swatch shadow she just puts them straight into her eyes and sees how it works like that because that's all that really matters so i'm going to begin with the dark blue so the amsterdam shade and i'm going to begin by just basically packing this into my crease using the morphe m138 brush 
Anybody else's eyeballs crease so easy? Like I literally look down and then there's loads of creases again. I'm just gonna tap that in before I put this, <laughs> before I put this blue on. And I'm literally just going in like small little circular motions to tap this into the skin. This colour is so pigmented. I found yesterday when I was trying the browns out, the dark brown, the 5am one, goes on a different colour. Like when you put it onto a sticky base, it goes a lot darker. But when it's not on a sticky base and you're kind of applying it on top, it doesn't. It's weird. But it does blend in really nicely. I was thinking, oh god, how am I supposed to blend it when it's two like different colours? But it worked all right. So I feel like that one has gone on a lot more intense than what the other eye initially did. So I think the key is to just not be like shy with it and just pack the colour on. I think this eye is going to turn out a lot better than the other eye. But I am trying to learn my eye shape at the moment as well. So yeah, I think this I think this one I did it a bit too low. And the other one I needed to put up a little bit. So yeah, let's see what we get on with this eye. And I might need to do the other eye and adjust it to get it to match up again. So what I used to blend the blue out just naturally into itself is the Morphe M507 brush. And I literally use this holding the bottom of the brush to just blend out this blue. Just ever so slightly. Just to blend out them harsh, uh, harsh, them harsh, them harsh edges. Because there isn't really like a middle toned blue to kind of blend this into to then go in with the light blue. So I do find it's quite a harsh comparison between the two. But I don't really know what other colour I would use to blend that out to be honest. So this bit's going to be a little bit tedious. So I'll be back with you in a minute. But it's literally just doing these tiny, tiny circle motions. So I've just gone back in and packed in some more of that blue shade just to add a bit more oomph after we've blended out the edges a little bit. So I'm literally just blending out the edges ever so slightly again. And then what I'm going to go in with is that light blue shade. So the one that's called Plot Twist. I'm going to go in, just making sure I've got the right brush here. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M4, M4, not M149 brush. I feel like I need to be a bit closer. I'm hoping that's a little bit better, but yeah, basically going in with that plot twist shade and with the Morphe M149 brush. And oh god, this eye looks so much better than this eye already. And I'm literally just gonna be blending out this blue with the light blue shade. And then the same thing again, going back in with Amsterdam and just packing on that colour. The reason we keep packing it back on is because obviously, yes we are blending it, but we're blending it so that it's seamless, not blending it to get rid of it. So that's why we like to go back in and pack it back in, because otherwise when it comes to cutting the crease, it's going to be like this eye where you can't really tell that much. And obviously this eye, I have done it a bit too low as well. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm 100% happy with it, or as happy as I can be that my arm falling off and blending. So what I used to carve up my crease for the first time earlier was this new one. Well, it's not a new one, it's a new one to me. And um, this is a P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain blank canvas one. And I literally got this because um, I saw so many people say that it's really good because it's so thick. It's really good for cutting out the crease. So that's what we're going to try today. Just have a cheap Morphe brush. I'm going to try to cut the crease and try and do it so it cuts it... Um, a little bit higher than the one that we've got on my other eye. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it on my eye and look up. And that hopefully should be where I need to cut the crease. Look at that difference. You can actually see the cut crease with my eye open. Like It just makes my eyes look so much bigger as well. So now that that's all in place, I'm gonna set um, basically set that base because it just set naturally itself anyway but it's a little bit tacky still so whilst it's a bit tacky I'm gonna go in with Mama Tutorials which is that shimmery blue shade which is beautiful I did find on my other eye it actually went on a lot better um, with my finger but obviously it makes it even harder to um, get right up into the cut crease 
actually before I do that I'm going to take the um shade that, the brush basically that has a blue on it and just blend this outer corner just because otherwise that set it's not going to blend in very nicely for the shimmery blue shade I'm actually going to go with my finger first just to get that colour down to begin with um, and also because that base is starting to set itself I can feel it because it's sticking my eyeballs together so I'm just going to literally go over my finger and just tap Oh, I'm just sort of set it a little bit. Right, so let's go on with a brush now. I'm just literally just using just a cheap brush that I got off eBay. Um, just move that microphone a little bit closer so hopefully you can still hear me. Um, and that's when I'm just going to start. Oh, it just doesn't go on it as well. Let's see what it says on that little card. What's my tutorials? It says a brush and a finger for that one, but I just feel like a brush just doesn't seem to apply it all that well. And I tried quite a few different brushes as well. There's a lot of fallout as you can probably see on my cheek, but I don't care. Um, and if, if to be honest with you, if I went in with like a really shimmering, like glittery colour anyway, I would always do my eyes first, just because I know there's going to be fallout. I am absolutely obsessed with how that's turned out. I feel like I've done the cut crease perfect for my eye shape because you can still see it when my eyes open. Love it. So I'm going to try to fix this eye so it matches up slightly. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do it but I have to take the full thing off. But we shall see. <laughs> so I think that's the best I'm going to get that eye to be honest with you. But I am so impressed with these eyeshadows. I was really impressed with um, the ones that I did try yesterday. I just again hadn't got my eye shape right where I feel like this actually stands out more. And looks amazing so i'm going to finish off the rest of my face and we'll come back we'll do the under eyes um, and we'll put on some lashes which i'm so excited to try so excited to try let's go <laughs> so i finished off the rest of my face if you're wondering by the way what lipstick combination i have on because i know a lot of you ask and um, when i have like my full lips and that's done i've actually got a mixture of mac stripped down lip liner with the color pop cookie matte lipstick um and i have put a gloss over the top but do bear in mind it's not actually a matte lipstick at all um it's not drying or anything it's just one of their lippy sticks if anything it's more like a normal lipstick formula and then i've literally just topped it off with a little bit of the peaches and cream lip gloss in the shade diamond um for if you're wondering like what's in the rest of my face i've got the two faced um foundation on the born this way one highlighter is doll beauty like a diamond blusher is my new Charlotte tilbury one um what else is there um bronzer is my normal mac dark tan so to finish off the lower lash line i'm going to be taking two of the same brush um but using them for different colors so we have two of the Morphe M149 brushes, which is what we used earlier. I know it's wrong with my throat. Which is what we used earlier to blend out that really light um, plot twist shade. So I'm going to go in with one of them that has a little bit of the dark blue shade on. Um, so I'm put a little bit more onto the brush of the shade Amsterdam. I'm going to focus this right up in my lash line. And really I'm just doing like little sideways motions just to pack that pigment on. And to also get it so it kind of starts a little bit bigger and then swoops into the inner corner of the eye, if that makes sense. I don't know what I've just done in my throat, but oh, my throat hurts. I find this helps as well to kind of tie in the outer part of the eye to kind of to bring it round. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, but lower down than that one to kind of blend it out a little bit. Basically what we did in the top part of my eye, really. Um, and this one's in the shade Plot Twist, which is that like light baby bloom. Which I didn't expect to like as much as what I do. Did I just rhyme? I feel like I did. I've dropped quite a lot. I ended up packing, had a little bit of like a, you can probably see it actually. A little bit of an issue here in this outer corner with packing on that blue. I'm not too sure why, but I've had to like pack on the blue again with like my finger and a brush and it has caused a little bit of like kind of fallout in a way, dropping onto my skin, but I'm literally filming this video, it is five to six on a Saturday night and the only place that I'm going tonight is the pizza shop. <laughs> so I don't think it matters all that much. Mm. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the shape that I want and kind of the thickness of colour that I want as well in pigmentation. 
and then I'll do the other eye and we'll come back and put on some really exciting lashes. Mm. So to finish off basically the eye look, I'm going to go in with the shade Ivy, which is the, oh that's a very soft shade, um, which is the like sparkly light shade in the top of the palette and it's very like squidgy, I don't know that's the best way to explain it, but basically I'm going to put this into my inner corner. I'm actually going to put a little bit of that just underneath my brow bone. Oh, that looks nice. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but <clears throat> oh my god, what is wrong with my thought? But that looks nice. <laughs> so next we have some lashes. I am so excited to actually be trying these out. These are the Tati and Jamie Genevieve lashes, which just look like this absolutely beautiful these are the um jamie three ones the 3d um fox mink i am honestly so happy to get these i actually got these from a, a local basically new business that's opened up and um, it will be in one of my upcoming vlogs with a bit more detail on it anyway so don't forget to hit subscribe but basically my friend has just launched her own business called a training wings boutique and she's basically going to be doing um makeup kind of courses makeup beauty all that kind of stuff but also doing the treatments herself too so if you wanted to get your nails done you can go get your nails done as well um i will be getting a bit more information on it next week when i go and meet up with her again but she very kindly gave me these lashes so she actually just stuck the tatty lashes um in there so i said that um, I did a little shout out on my video too as well, but I have done like a full mention in my vlog, which will be coming up very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow as a bonus video, that's what I'm I'm hoping for. But yeah, these are the TL Jamie 3, and I'm so excited to try these. I absolutely love Jamie Genevieve, she's just an absolute babe. And I've never tried tarty lashes as well, so this is like a double bummy. So these are what the lashes look like, a very dramatic, which I feel like it's definitely what I need for this makeup look. So I'm going to trim them down and put them on and we'll see what they look like on. But I saw so many reviews, people saying that they are really, really lightweight and fluffy. So yeah, I was so excited to try them. So this is what the lashes look like. I've managed to get like quite a big chunk of uh, mascara stuck on the inner part of these lashes. So excuse how kind of like in, the, in your face they are. I was trying to get this one lash that's like very clearly coated in like the um blank canvas base but I just can't seem to get it so I'm just gonna leave it before I end up ruining the lashes because they are beautiful. Here's it a little bit closer you can kind of see here where that um blue just wouldn't really stick down. Oh I forgot to mention as well these lashes the Jamie Genevieve ones the, the th number three ones it was a clear lash band so it meant I didn't have to put any eyeliner on which I'm so happy about because I feel like this look just looks amazing. I didn't want to ruin it with um, eyeliner on as well. But yeah, I am obsessed. I would honestly really recommend getting this if you can um, when it restocks because it just is amazing. <laughs> it's beautiful. If you want me to do another look with this, please let me know down below and let me know what kind of colours you want me to go for. You could definitely do like a sunset eye, you could do like a, a natural glam, like a brown um, with a gold lid, you could do a purple dark smoky eye, like there's so much in it that you can go with. Um, you could do a pink, and um, there's a couple ones where like you would be able to do like a nice green but you'd need like maybe another green in there, um, just to kind of make it a bit more deeper but yeah. Amazing. I just think for £25 as well, it's really, really beautiful. Um, and yeah, it's nice that she's actually getting supported properly this time and not getting ripped off by toothpaste. Toothpaste? By toothpaste. <laughs> which is actually quite ironic because I've got the Too Faced foundation on today, which I actually didn't even do on purpose. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. I think I'm uploading a bonus video, like a vlog. If not, I'll see you on Wednesdays because I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, six o'clock UK time. And don't forget to enter my huge giveaway linked down below. Love you so much. Bye-bye.